Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about the advantages and applications of microwaves. In the previous video, I have started the microwave engineering and uh, explained about how the microwaves having different types of frequencies ranging from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz and wavelength varies from 1 meter to 1 millimeter. If you want to say minimum to maximum 1 millimeter to 1 meter. So that's why the wavelength microwaves are also known as millimeter waves. Very small wavelength is having. Now for that high frequency signals or low wavelength signals. What are the different types of advantages? What is the use of increasing the frequency to that much level? Definitely there should be advantages and uh, applications of these microwaves then only we can go that's why we are going for the very high frequencies okay main problem is long distance communication the main uh, application of this uh, microwaves is to transmit the signal to a long distance okay all the satellite communication radar communication uh, for such type of uh, communication so we are transmitting the signals to a such a long distance that's why the long distance communication completely uses this microwaves gigahertz of frequency so the first advantage of this microwaves is large bandwidth it is having large bandwidth so if you say a signal is having a microwave frequency like a gigahertz of frequency we can say that signal occupies more bandwidth so what what is what do you mean by bandwidth the bandwidth is nothing but the range of frequencies that that you are going to transmit the range of frequencies that you are going to transmit or we can say in terms of receiving part the range of frequencies that we are receiving okay so the bandwidth of microwaves is larger than the common normal low frequencies. Thus more information can be transmitted using this microwaves. Okay. So it is a actually very good advantage because of this microwaves are used for point to point communication. So because of this point to point communication is possible. Point to point communication is possible. because of this large bandwidth and second application is better directivity better directivity we can say that the directivity of this microwaves is high compared to conventional normal low frequency waves so directivity what do you mean by directivity what do you mean by directivity directivity is nothing but towards the particular target towards the target directivity that means any type of uh, antennas can generate a signals to uh, different types of omnidirectional antennas are there parabolic antennas are there horn antennas are there different types of antennas are there but what we need we need to generate a signal or radiation pattern that should have high gain and high directivity that means we need to transmit the signal in only one particular direction to to identify a target or something different depending upon the application suppose if you want to transmit the signal to a long distance then with high directivity you need to see the other point suppose from a to b i want to transmit the signal okay a is here and b is somewhere here and from this tower to this tower okay the signal is going with a high directivity high directivity towards the other end okay so it is having better directivity at microwave frequencies there are better directivity properties this is due to the relation between the frequency and wavelength see here what happens as frequency increases lambda decreases we know the relation between these two these two are reciprocal to each other as frequency increases lambda decreases as frequency increases lambda decreases and what about the directivity as lambda decreases that leads to the increment in the directivity and one more is also there bandwidth also decreases because of this directivity bandwidth decreases sorry bandwidth it is beam width the beam width also decreases see this one beam width 
okay that's why i have drawn here low beam width beam as beam width is very very low the directivity of the signal is always more that is able to transmit long distance the distance uh, we can say i will tell you one example i will draw here one lobe with wide bandwidth why it be width and another uh, with a very narrow beam width see here this is having more beam width this is having less beam width which can transmit long distance take a take two persons so one is uh, very fat and the other one is very narrow who can trans who can run fast and uh, travel long distance obviously in the narrow person obviously the lean person so the fat person cannot transmit long distance cannot uh, travel long distance that's why this narrow narrow beam width we can say narrow beam width uh, has high directivity because uh, so to get this high directivity what we need to follow the lambda should be very low lambda should be low is occurred due to uh, due to high microwave frequencies this is the relation between the uh, frequency and this beam width okay so this is what the better directivity and the second third case is small size antennas small size antenna so microwave allows to decrease the size of antenna we actually we no need to use big big size antennas very small size antennas is preferred in microwaves the antenna size can be smaller as the size of antenna is inversely proportional to the transmitted frequency here also the frequency is inversely proportional to size of the antenna size of antenna like antenna is proportional to we can say the size of antenna is uh, proportional to what is that wavelength okay as wavelength is low the size of antenna is also low okay thus in microwaves we have the waves of much higher frequencies and hence uh, the higher frequency the smaller the size of antenna okay this is the reason why we are having very small size of antennas we don't need to use very high antennas examples are pre uh, in olden days we have one cable operator at our uh, town or in our locality we pay every month this much amount to him and uh, he will uh, transfer the signal from his home station to our home with a wire cable okay you, i think uh, many of you have experience in this case what type of antennas that the person is cap, uh, having that is very very big antennas they have been installed on this particular uh, cable operator's home but now nowadays we have uh, each and every home each and every home even the people living in huts also having this particular um, dish antennas dish antenna is very small size we can incorporate at any place we can install at any place just the direction is matter okay so if we know the direction and uh, we can easily install and we can easily get the connection with that okay so that much that is the reason why we are having very small antennas nowadays okay because we are using high frequencies like microwaves that makes the uh, antenna size small next one is low power consumption low power consumption what do you mean by low power consumption low power consumption refers to in order to operate the system with low frequencies it gives it uh, consumes more power but if you are using working with respect to high frequencies the power consumption of the system is very low okay so uh, for high frequency communication for high frequencies the power consumption of the system the power consumption is very low okay but for low frequencies the power consumption is very high power taking the power for the system is very high that's why we, it is better to use high frequencies and last advantage of this one is the effect of fading the effect of fading the effect of fading is nothing but it is minimized by using the line of sight it is minimized 
it is minimized by using line of sight line of sight l o s line of sight propagation technique at the micro frequencies okay so effect of fading that means the signal cannot go away the signal cannot go away without reaching to the destination so the signal can be transmitted between transmitter and receiver because they are in line of sight what do you mean by line of sight if you did need tower is there it is the antenna and it is also antenna this is the tower okay this is the ground both are in one continuous line of sight line of sight is nothing but one antenna must be invisible to the other antenna both must be in line of sight okay um, another type of example for this microwave engineering concept is microwave oven okay microwave oven how the microwave oven works do you know how this microwave oven one best example for this microwaves microwave ovens microwave oven so what do you mean by microwave what it will do it is used to increase it is used to increase the temperature inside whatever the temperature you want to keep the particular item you are keeping inside that you can easily set over there okay so what happens microwaves gives a radiation that radiation produces heat okay because of this microwave oven works okay microwave radiation gives a lot of heat lot of heat that's why radiation is more if any antenna is in, installed in our locality we can say radiation increases okay when we are using mobile phone we can say radiation increases what happens because of that radiation leads to heat suppose if you are talking in your phone continuously more than one hour or more than half an hour what happens now nowadays our phones are capable to uh with stand to up to hours of time but in olden days if you are talking more than hours then definitely more than half an hour then definitely our phone gets heated now also if you are using more than one hour or uh, half an hour definitely your phone gets heated because of the radiation okay so this is the example for this microwave engineering concept how the microwave frequencies are using in our day to day life next one is applications applications there are four different main applications are there one is uh, uh, communications in communication we can use this microwaves in any communication satellite communication radar communication in any long distance communication another one is remote sensing remote sensing without any human intervention uh, if you want to transmit to any long distance where uh, um, human cannot enter that times that type of transmission also could be happen with this uh, microwaves next one is heating i told you already how this heating is helping us in our day to day life another one is medical sciences medical science this is another type of example so communication first one is communication in communication microwave we used in broadcasting the telecommunication systems so in communication we can say broadcasting example for this one is broadcasting the signal from one to multi point one point to multi point okay and uh, micro frequencies uh, as they, they are ranging from 1 uh, gigahertz communication so long distance communication is also possible that is the use of communication some uh, military applications uh, army applications uh, all these uses this uh, microwave frequency communications and we can say military army such type of communications will be happen with this another thing is a remote sensing so remote sensing is nothing but many of you are familiar with this application so most common application of the microwave is nothing but radar and sonar radar and sonar so radar is nothing but it is used to just to radiate the radiation radiate the pattern into the free space whenever any object is there the reflections will be happened and it is used to find the object in the free space if any object is there the necessary action will be taken care by the system 
if you want to transmit if you want to launch a missile in that particular direction that direction can be calculated with this radar that means in which direction and where the target is located that type of information can be calculated by using this radar okay so without any human intervention uh, if, if you want to launch any missile in particular uh, remote area that can be done by this radar communication and sonar communication in water also uh, you may see Gaji movie. In Gaji movie also, this type of sonar communication has been used. Next one is heating. Just uh, how the microwave. So because of this microwave radiation pattern, uh, heat, uh, heat gets generated. Okay. So this is the example microwave oven. Microwave oven. It is the example for this heat. In medical uh, terminology, medical sciences also, microwave heat is generally used. It is used in diagnosis various types of therapies. Uh, actually, in diagnosis, various diagnosis of various therapies. Okay, there are also some other applications of heating property of microwave, such as drying, pre-cooking, and moisture level controlling everything. Okay, that is the applications of different types of microwave communications, microwave signals. Okay, not only in war field communication like satellite and uh, uh, radar systems, we can use day-to-day -day life also these microwave engineering like microwave ovens, medical field and so on. Okay, so these are the advantages and applications of these microwave signals.